So in this video, I'll be showing you the various forms of equation of a line and also there are a few examples I've solved and how to find equation of a line. Again, remember, okay, this is a revision of what you've done. You have covered this topic earlier in your IGCSE or ICSE or SSE or whatever your grade 10 level. So this is uh, just a sort of revision of that. So now if you are aware of it, the gradient intercept form is y is equal to mx plus c. That's the gradient intercept form where your m is the slope. So when you make y the subject, the m is the slope of the line or the gradient of the line and c is the y-intercept. So y-intercept is nothing but where the line cuts the y-axis. So if you have this, this is your y-intercept where the line cuts the y-axis. So if you write in this form, it, it, you, you have to just read off the slope and the y-intercept. The general form in IB is given by AX plus BY plus D is equal to zero. Generally, you have to keep your A, B, B as an integer. Correct means you have to get rid of fractions. If you have, an, if you have a fraction, then you multi take the LCM of the denominator and multiply throughout by the denominator. Okay, so, so in the general form, you have to do this. Point gradient form is the most important form. And when you're doing your calculus and all that, it's better that you use this form to find, uh, uh, to write the equation of the line. So y minus y1, m into bracket, x minus x1. Where your x1, y1 is any known point. Correct? Is the known point and m is the slope of the line. So you should know the slope or the gradient of the line and you need to know a point. You substitute that. So basically if you are having an equation, your x and y has to be unsubstituted. So you have to get that. So I am showing you a few examples over here. So that will help you to find out the equation of a line or use it to find the equation of a line. So let's have a look at this. So write, find the equation of a line passing through minus 1, 4 and 3, 2. Write the equation in standard form. So in this case, when the two point, when any two points are given to find the equation of a line, what you need to do is, first you need to find the slope. So we can call this x1, y1. This is x2, y2. You find the slope. So formula for slope is earlier in the last video I have shown. Or in fact, you can remember from your other classes also. y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. 3 minus minus 1. So that's minus 2 over 4. So minus half is the slope of the line. Now to get the equation, it's better to use a point gradient form. I always prefer that. You know, people have a habit of doing y is equal to mx plus c, substituting, get the value of c and put it back, which is not wrong, which is perfectly all right. But you'll see the value of using this when you do calculus. So keeping the long term process in mind, I always feel it's better to use this form. So you substitute, you as I told you, y and x, you don't substitute, y minus y1 is equal to minus half x minus x1, x plus 1. Now to write the equation in standard form, so it always makes sense to cross multiply at this stage. So what will I do is I'll just cross multiply. So 2 y minus 4 is equal to minus 1 x plus 1, cross multiply, open the bracket, 2y minus 8 minus x minus 1. So x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. This is your equation in standard form. So in IB, the standard form is getting all the terms on one side and making the other side equal to 0. So that's how you can write the standard form. If they don't mention write the standard form, you can leave it in any form. So generally, I'm mentioning in standard form, so you get used to the standard form. Now, the next thing is, find the equation of a line having x-intercept 2. So the coordinate of that point would be 2 comma 0. Remember, to find the x-intercept, you substitute y is equal to 0. To find the y-intercept, you put x is 0. And parallel to the given line. So what you do is, you find out the slope of this line. So make, write in y is equal to mx plus c form. Divide throughout by 2. So if I, if I make, if I write in this form, this is the gradient of the given line. So the slope of the given line is minus 3 over 2. So slope of the parallel line will also be, so m2 if you call it, the slope of the parallel line will also be minus 3 over 2. So this is the m1, the slope of the first line which is given to you is minus 3 over 2. And since it's parallel, remember if lines are parallel, 
the slopes are equal. If lines are perpendicular, then you have to do the negative reciprocal. So if they say it was a perpendicular line, then you do 2 over 3. But yeah, it's given it's parallel. So it's the same slope. And write, this, write the equation and write the answer in slope intercept form. So in this case, you can use y minus y1. So this is my point. Is equal to m into bracket x minus x1 cross multiply 2y is equal to minus 3x plus 6. Now you want to y is equal to mx plus c form, so make divide through by 2 6 over 3. So that's your final answer. So this is the equation of the new line which is having x intercept as 2. Okay, so always the slope is the key thing. So when you're finding parallel perpendicular line, you work with the get the slope, use the slope, get the point and get the equation, and that's how you do it. The next one is find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of, of this and this. Now again, you must have done sums of this sort. This is just a revision of what you have done. So what I need to do is I need to get a slope and a point on the line. So so it's like basically you've been given. So let me just move this here. You have uh, you have some point 3 comma 4. This is a rough diagram. It has nothing to do with the actual graph. The position in the actual graph. These are my two points. So let me call this point A, point B. You are supposed to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector means it's 90 degrees to this and passing through the midpoint. So what are the steps in this if you remember? You may pause the video anytime and try to do this on your own. So the key thing you need to remember in this, get the midpoint. Use the midpoint formula, get the coordinates of the midpoint. If you remember the midpoint, x is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y is equal to y1 plus y2 over 2. You get the coordinates of the midpoint. Second is, get the slope of AB. Get the slope of AB, y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Third is, you do the negative reciprocal of the slope. That will give you the slope of this. So using the midpoint and the slope, you get the equation of this perpendicular bisector. So that's what we had to do if you remember. So let's start. So if you get them, so you can pause the video and try this on your own and you can check the answer with this. x1 y1, x2 y2. So if you want to get the midpoint, x is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y is equal to y1 plus y2 over 2. So in this case, 8 over 2 is 4 and y is equal to minus 1. So your, your midpoint is 4 minus 1. That's your midpoint. Now get the slope. So if you want to find the slope of AB, if you call this AB, M1, will let me call this M1, is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So that's minus 10 over 2, that's minus 5. So slope of the perpendicular line to this would be negative reciprocal. So one fifth. So you just reciprocal this and change the cell. Then the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So y minus y1 is equal to m into bracket x minus x1. Again, you can use y is equal to mx plus c also. But this is a preferred method. Always remember that. In the long run, this will help you. So y minus y1. I'm, I'm using the midpoint now. So this is my x1, y1. I have to use the midpoint in this. Is equal to slope into bracket x minus x1. You can leave your, they have not mentioned anything, so you can leave your answer in this form as well in IB. So IB allows you to uh, leave the answer in point gradient form. This is a slightly difficult question, but again it will help you with your concepts. You've been given the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. You've been given the coordinates of point A is minus 2 comma 3. You're supposed to find the coordinates of the other point. Again, you can, if you know this, it's good. You can pause this video, try doing this and check your answer by fast forwarding it. But in case you don't know how to do it, just have a look at this. Because this sort of sum can appear in your exams. So if I draw a diagram over here, it's like this. You've been given point A, minus 2 comma 3. Point B is P comma Q. You've been given the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So equation of the perpendicular bisector of this has been given. Sorry, this is minus. Sir.
this is minus 2y yeah this is supposed to find this so in this case if you want to see the hint if you want to hint and pause the media do so on your own i can give you a hint to begin with so what you do is first you find the equation of line l you know i mean find the equation of line ab find the slope of l the slope of ab would be the negative reciprocal you know the point get the equation of line ab step 1 step 2 what you do is you solve the equation of line ab and l simultaneously to get the coordinates of midpoint m point 3 use your midpoint formula and get the value of p and q okay so get the equation of ab solve it simultaneously to get m and use the midpoint formula to get b so you can pause the video try doing this on your own if you have understood it if you have not follow me so i'll get the equation i i have to get the equation of ab so first what will i do is i'll make y the subject divide through by minus 2 correct if you divide through by minus 2 so this is the slope of the line is half therefore slope of ab could be negative 2 we just do the negative reciprocal so equation of ab will be i'm using y minus y1 m into bracket x minus x1 so i'll substitute y minus up to that take any known point so this will be my x1 y1 so y minus 3 is equal to minus 2 x plus 2 okay so when you open the brackets 2x minus 4 so 2x plus y is equal to minus 1 Minus two x plus y is equal to minus one. Yeah, so that's the equation of AB. Now remember, whenever you find the point of intersection of two lines, solve them simultaneously. So I'll solve this and then simultaneously. So I'll multiply this equation by two, so that I get a two y. So my equation of line L is this. AB is so minus four x plus two y is equal to minus two. This cancels off. So minus three x is equal to two. X is equal to minus two over three. That's your point of intersection. To get the y, you substitute the value of x in any of the equations. I'm taking the first equation, putting in that. So you just uh, I'm simply I'm solving for y. Fourteen over three. So y is equal to minus seven over three. Correct. So that's your coordinates of m. So my coordinates of m, so coordinates of m are the x and y. So minus two over three, comma minus seven over three. Now what I do is I call this x one y one. This is my x y. My m is x y. This is my x two y two. And I use the midpoint formula. X is x one plus x two over two. So your x is equal to x one plus x two over two. So minus four over three plus two. You solve basically for p. So p is equal to two over three. Three twos are six. And your q when you're finding y is equal to y one plus y two over two. So you substitute. So your y is minus seven over three is equal to y one. This is three plus q over two. So minus. Fourteen over three minus three is equal to q. So q is equal to three threes are nine. Nine and twenty-three. Twenty-three over three. So that means the coordinate. So that's my p and q. So the coordinates of b are two over three and minus twenty-three over three. That's how you do this. This is one one sample I've shown you of this. 